548, it's Thursday, so let's eat. This week we're featuring a destination that's great for hiking enthusiasts and fun-seeking families that are making the trip to Table Rock State Park. 7 News is Christine Scarpelli live in Pickens at Aunt Sue's hey, Country Corner. Good morning. Yep, that's right. Aunt Sue's Country Corner is ready for you. This weekend's going to be a big one. You got Mother's Day coming up, and Teresa and Ed are rearing to go. Look at those smiles. They're excited <laughs> to welcome you this morning. All right, after the storms have cleared for sure. Take a look at what else is on the menu, and we'll talk to them after that. More than a restaurant, it's a destination. Ed and Teresa Lewis were sitting right here on this front porch when they decided to take over this kitchen. They were eating ice cream like so many other travelers do right outside of Table Rock State Park. We're at Aunt Sue's Country Corner. Sue and Lloyd Ritter, um, they moved up from Florida and they made a sandwich shop out of it. And Lloyd kept building. The original owners, the Ritters, had a vision, and now Ed and Teresa Lewis cook on, greeting locals and visitors to the state park nearby. I'm originally from Florida, um, Louisiana, both places, and then uh, my husband Ed, he's from here, and uh, I've always loved to cook, and he's he's a great cook. We come here and they have incorporated all of that. We've got pizza, wings, meat and three, hamburgers. Let's start at the beginning. Green tomatoes. We've fry them up. We get it pretty fresh and local around here. Soda water, it helps the, the breading get extra crispy. We double bread it, lay them in. Golden brown, just right about there. Kitchen manager Joel Hamlin has been here since he was 18 and serves them with homemade ranch, yum, or on a burger. Another one of his favorites, chicken fried chicken. This is a classic southern dish. My grandmother used to cook it for me. Tenderizes it, it makes it a little bit bigger. You lay it in your uh, homemade breader. We put some Lowry season salt, drizzle our gravy on top, and it's our uh, classic country white gravy. It's good and creamy. And these we do do from scratch. It's basically fat meat and salt, and that's all you really need to make a good green bean. We drench it in that stuff. That way it comes out nice and steaming hot. And the hottest item on the menu, the Reuben. Marble rye, butter on there, let it get nice and nice and kind of toasted. Deli cut corned beef, sauerkraut, Swiss cheese, our Thousand Island dressing on top. The corned beef is savory, so is the sauerkraut, but the Thousand Island is kind of sweet and the Swiss cheese is kind of smoky. So all that comes together to a, I think, a very good sandwich. Enjoy this with hand cut ooh, french fries by Ed and enjoy them in your own corner of the country. Don't miss two great buffets, Friday and Country Buffet on Sunday, of course. It is a mountain tradition up here at Table Rock State Park at Aunt Sue's Country Corner. We say, let's eat. Good morning. Okay, so we're back with Teresa and Ed. This place is fantastic. And there's plenty of options, which I really like. If you're coming off of a hike, or maybe you're a long drive on Highway 11, 176 nearby, you want to stop for something great. You've got a lot of options. Teresa, mm -hmm. how did you guys choose to do kind of the buffet side? And then also a couple of other options. Mm -hmm. What was what went into that decision? Well, we had um, we wanted to have something that people could grab quick. Yeah. So we do have hot dogs, and we do have some pizza that they can still get. Sure. And um, we are uh, beginning new uh, options that they can also grab. Listen to that breaking news. <laughs> new options here. This is very exciting. <laughs> Mother's Day coming up this weekend. The, Fred, I think this sounds absolutely brilliant. So you come for Sunday, right? Mm -hmm. What is Sunday going to look like? Sunday will look like fried chicken, pot roast, meatloaf. Mac and cheese. That's the buffet. Buffet, right yes. Right here for Mother's Day. Yes. So while you're sitting here eating a Mother's Day buffet like they beautifully have on this table this morning, you can run and get a gift. Yes. You got a gift shop nearby? Tell mm -hmm. me about it. Uh, the general store and the uh, lighthouse have uh, candles and honey and soaps and homemade, a lot of homemade art, art, uh, artists that come in and I they like make that. different things that we have in the shops. And they're unique guys, they're local, Fred. So isn't that great? So when the right before the fried chicken comes, you can go to the bathroom and across the hall <laughs> grab a, a candle or a, some honey. And there's your Mother's Day, it's all wrapped up in one. What other reason do you need to be here this weekend? I'm turning blue like the <laughs> cookie monster right now because I'm looking at what's right in front of you and those cookies look like they're as big as your palm. <laughs> I'll take two. They're, they're huge. All right. Thank you, Christine. Coming up on 553.